those damn corporations. Don't you just hate them? Yes, there's a lot said about corporations, isn't there? But if we really take our blinders off, what we see is that, and correct me if I'm wrong, corporations only exist because of government, right? What is a corporation in structure but a registration of some sort of a legal entity registered through the government body? So therefore, in a way, government is an, or corporations are an organ of government. They're an extension of government. They are tax collectors for government. The people who operate in corporations obey government policy. They are part of government, right? So if we keep on blaming corporations for stuff, surely we can go to the head of the snake once in a while and just blame it on the source, right? People operating in government. And furthermore, If corporations weren't following, towing the line of government, then they'd be shut down. So whenever we think that we're going to go out and protest against Monsanto, well, Monsanto only exists by government fiat, right? And, of course, Monsanto, yes, people in Monsanto are probably doing stuff that a lot of people disapprove of, but they have powerful lobbyists in government. They probably write legislation for government. And there it's a back and forth thing. I mean, Monsanto exists because of government. And Monsanto does what it wants to do because it gets permission from government by paying for that permission. It's the same reason why you drive on the road. You pay for permission. government and corporations are bedfellows. The people who own corporations do it reluctantly, but they realize it's their only survival, right? The system is seemed to be is deemed to be so big, too big to fail, right? The system is. So to be able to survive in a political society it's an investment, folks. It has to be an investment that people who run corporations have to make by creating a powerful lobby team. Otherwise, somebody else is going to lobby them right out of business. I mean, government, that behavior becomes standard operating procedure because if it's not done for many corporations, they don't. They're regulated out of business. So they have to keep in touch. So I think the, the lesson that I'm taking away from this whole concept of government and corporations is there's no sense protesting against corporations because they only exist because of another entity called government. So if we want to um, blame somebody, you know, why not blame it on the head of the snake? Why go after the serfs in a... or why go after uh, the spoiled children and not address the parenting, right? Because that's what's happening. Corporations are brought into existence by the concept of government and they get away with things based on their permits. And remember what a permit is. A permit or a license is the permission to do what is otherwise illegal. If you think about it, right? Think about driving a car on the road. If you drive a car on the road without a driver's license, that's illegal. So it means that anybody who drives a car on the road is performing an illegal act. Unless we go to the masters and say, please let me. And the master will say, yes, we will let you, but you have to pay for that permission, right? 
And a, and a corporation is exactly the same. I mean, they pay huge money. Campaign donations, lobbyists, writing of legislation, backroom deals. All of this is constantly going on. That's part of the, the permit process, right? It's a permit process. Then eventually they get a permit to do whatever. I mean, you know, uh, it might be a uh, an orgy of hookers uh, set up for a bunch of male politicians gets you permission to dump hazardous waste somewhere. That is a permit process, you know, a little less official, but nevertheless, um, these sort of things take place, we can be sure. Certainly all kinds of backroom deals. But, um, why are we blaming just the one side, right? Why do we blame just the corporation? Corporation doesn't go around shooting people. Government does. Government enforces their regulations on the corporations at the barrel of a gun. Corporations don't turn around and lobby with guns. No, they just lobby with cash. Cash and other sweetness, right, under the table. Sometimes this might even literally be under the table. And, uh, you know, I might sound cynical, but <laughs> I call it being realistic. So I think the next time we want to bash those damn corporations, we can at least think for a minute about the head corporation, which is government, which is just another corporation. You can look it up, you know. You can look on Dun & Bradstreet or whatever, whatever, wherever you live, type in government of whatever. You can look it up somewhere and you'll find that, yes, the government of every country is just a corporation. A country is just a corporation also. But it's the chief corporation. The claim has the claim, anyways, of being the chief corporation of that area. So my guess is blame the head of the snake. Uh, but even go farther than that, though. You know, blame the people who support it. Perhaps, you know, ultimately that's that's the end of the that's the end of the day. Is uh, is who's to blame? I guess is us in general. So the fingers that were once going out are now pointing in, and we get to make decisions from here because all that stuff's going on. And the more we bitch and complain about it, the less we work on ourselves. And the less we tend to see the real line of the evil that's going on. You know, corporation is actually downstream quite a ways. There's corporation, there's government, there's who runs government, the tinkerers behind it, and ultimately there's us who go out and vote for these psychopaths to then make backroom deals and under the table deals with corporations to do stuff that we then end by bitching about. So just a few thoughts. I don't know what you think. It makes any sense. Once again, I'm not here to answer any questions or to try to put any wisdom upon anybody. My hope is that if one person listens to this and comes away with more questions in their head than answers, then I feel I have been successful in the video. So hopefully you have lots of questions and a broadening mind on these topics. Steve here again, great chatting. Hope to do this again soon. Bye-bye.